Hey, Kelsey here, and today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to get fonts from Inkscape into Cricut Design Space. So let's get started in Inkscape. You're going to grab the text button and left click or drag out. I'm going to type my name out here, and then I'm going to go up to the top left corner and change the font. If you're going to do this, make sure you highlight over your letters first. I picked Blown Away. This font is on Makers Gonna Learn. And as you can see, when I make this bigger, the top of the K and the L and then the bottom of the Y are cut off. So we need to fix that. If you went ahead and you saved this as is, as an SVG, it's not going to upload properly into Cricut. Let me go ahead and show you. First, I'm going to change this to an SVG. You can pick Plain or Inkscape. They both work for me. And then we're going to go over to Cricut Design Space. So you're going to go ahead and upload this in. And as you can see at the top, it says that the SVG has text elements that aren't going to import properly. I'm just going to hit continue to show you what will happen if you just keep going. As you can see, nothing is uploading. Basically, you're just uploading a blank space. Nothing pops up in the upload corner, and then you get an error message in design space. So we want to fix this because if you're going to add text elements to your SVGs, you want them to upload properly. So let's go back to Inkscape. I have my same SVG pulled up, and I'm going to click on it and change object to path. This has now made it so it has nodes. It's going to be able to be cut in your machine, but each letter is individual, so we need to group them. Highlight over everything. You can move things around before if you'd like. I'm going to put it back to normal. Highlight over it. Go back up to path. And you're going to click union. Once you do this, everything is now together and is one piece, as you can see where all the nodes are. So now we can upload this over into Cricut Design Space. First, I want to show you how to offset. You're going to duplicate and then pull off that top piece. They're exactly the same. And now we're going to go and change our color. And then we're going to go to path and outset. This is the exact same thing as offset. So you can do it as many times as you'd like to make it thicker and thicker and then send that to the back. And now we have a nice thin offset. So again, if you're trying to use text elements for SVGs that you're going to sell, this is how to do it. I have this in the node setting, and I'm just grabbing the nodes that are in between the L and deleting those. But we will get into that into a video in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and save this again. Now I'm going to save it as Kelsey 2, and I'm going to show you how this uploads over in Design Space. So I added in Kelsey 2, and I'm still getting that error that the text elements aren't uploading properly. But as you can see, it did go ahead and come through. I'm going to add it to my canvas, and it is going to pop up. Both layers will be there, and you can actually cut this even though that first error came up. But if we're going to sell this SVG, let's fix that. It's a very simple solution. As you can see up at the top, I have that Kelsey 2 SVG opened, and I am just going to copy both layers. So I highlighted over both and copied, and now I'm opening a new Inkscape window, and I'm going to paste. And now I'm just going to save this. I'll save it as Kelsey 3 so I can show you when we upload it into Cricut. You can save it as Kelsey 2 or whatever you're using. Obviously, if you're making my name, then that's what you would do. But now when we upload this back over into Cricut, we shouldn't get any sort of warning or error. So it's the exact same SVG. We just copied and pasted it over into a new file, and now it should upload perfectly without any text errors from Cricut. So that is how you add text elements into Design Space from Inkscape. This is super helpful if you want to make card SVGs to sell or really anything that might have a text element to it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Happy crafting.